Hi everyone, this is Rio from CalSouth Systems. Today I would like to go over an exciting topic, which is Copilot in Business Central. So Copilot was first introduced in 2023 and it has been evolving since then. And with Copilot, you can have a Copilot virtual assistant in your business central. So you can ask any questions and it'll pull out necessary documents for you. And it also has text capturing features. So you can create sales invoice or sales quote from your Outlook. And with Copilot, you can do many things. But today, I would like to go over two things. One is creating item description with Copilot, and second is uh, completing bank account reconciliation using Copilot. But first, uh, let me show you how to enable Copilot in your business central. So let's go to the search button and um, search for Copilot and it capabilities page so to activate uh, you'll see two things uh, bank account reconciliation and marketing test suggestions so you can simply hit activate to make it active and also let's go to the features management page So in this page, you can manage all the features in Business Central, but today I'm just going to focus on the Copilot. So let's search Copilot and I am logged in as admin, so I can choose who to be enabled for. But right now I'll just say all users. So all users will have Copilot in their Business Central and that's it. That was pretty quick and I think it was really easy to enable Copilot in Business Central. So now uh, let's go ahead and check if Copilot was really enabled. So the first thing I want to do is to create item description with mm -hmm. Copilot. So let's go to the item card. And let's just click on the first one. And you'll see the item description here on the right hand side. You'll see a picture and you'll see the marketing text. So uh, when you upload a picture for the item, uh, Business Central will analyze the image and try to find the matching category from your list of item categories. And for a marketing task, uh, you, if you have an e-commerce website like uh, Shopify, uh, the item description will be showed on your Shopify item description as well. And it will create an item description uh, based on the item attributes. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's click on the draft with Copilot. So you can choose the format, the tone of voice, the quality of the emphasis. So right now the tone is inspiring with the tagline with paragraph with no emphasis. But if you like it, you can keep this. But if you want to change a little, you can make it, let's say, creative. And I can regenerate it. And let's make it more innovative and regenerate. So here's the one that I like, but um, you can always edit your uh, draft item description, you can um, add you can add anything to your uh, draft item description. And if everything looks good, uh, you can keep it. So imagine you have hundreds of item and you have to create all the item description, which is pretty time consuming. But when you use Copilot, it can generate in about like two seconds with professional tone and you can generate like attractive item description and also save a lot of time by using this feature. So yeah, this is my favorite uh, Copilot feature. But I would like to show you another feature that Copilot has which is the bank reconciliation. So let's go back to the home. So next, uh, I would like to show you how to complete bank account reconciliation using Copilot. So it will improve matching of a transaction with ledger entries and it will suggest the G account for unmatched transactions. So let's go to the bank account reconciliation page.
click on savings so you'll see nothing is matched right now and the top home uh you'll see copilot reconcile with copilot uh copilot transfer to your account so it will have a rule-based transaction matching and it will reduce your time to review the unmatched transaction which can be time saving so let's click on this reconcile with copilot so uh, business central has auto matching that works well but sometimes results in many unmatched transaction but by using copilot ai technology uh, it expects a uh, remaining transactions and try to identify more matches based on the dates, the amounts, the descriptions. So you'll see there is zero of uh, six lines that were auto matched, but by using Copilot, you'll see there's five of the six lines. So if everything looks good, you can keep it. And now you'll see the green part is now matched. And of course, there is a, a, ma a matched uh, bank statement and you can go to the transfer to Geo account. So the copilot suggests the ledger account to post for residual transactions to, and it offers to remember a specific description for the next reconciliation. So it shows this one, the, the bank fee. And if you choose uh, under proposal, you can choose a Geo account. So right now, this was the bank fee. So let's go and see, there's a bank fee geo account. Here it is. And uh, if you select uh, save to next to the proposal, uh, you can add the mapping to the text to account mapping page. So next time this text appear while matching and it will map to the proposed account like this. And if everything looks good, you can keep it. And these were the Copilot features in Business Central. So I think it was pretty easy to enable Copilot and utilize it. And there are many other things you can do with Copilot. And I'll be posting those, so stay tuned. I hope this video was fun and I will see you on the next video. Bye.